Hi, this is Chris from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from Political Voices Network. Um, by the way, you are a liberal helper on Twitter. Um, Amy tweeted, what's the first thing you think of when you see Mike Johnson? And you said, uh, this jar of mayonnaise has gone bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like, did they just pull him out of like, a, the, a line of bad priests and give them a pin and say you're the speecher speaker speecher what am I, <laughs> no the word speaker? changes now i'm never wrong i'm never wrong <laughs> um no but i, I it's just can, is it me or are they all just awful or weird like what who monitors their son's porn addiction nope. like i don't with i mean they monitor each other's yeah. porn addictions and <laughs> they're well, supposed to be christians i don't i don't i help me yeah i just think you know the family that yanks together <laughs> oh no i, I mean, don't understand it like, one of them is I, weirder than the last one no it's it's look you know what we went from uh, just like this spineless slug of a speaker who went, I need to do one thing, and everyone went, get out. And now we have this guy. <laughs> we have this guy who like who literally looks like he was drawn with liquid paper. <laughs> it's true. Um, I, by the way, by the way, speaking of dads and sons, so I love that Donald Trump Jr. tweeted about Epstein, but he he conveniently left his dad's name out, which right. was actually listed first. But he yeah. said, this this seems like a big deal. It's true. Why has nothing been done about it? Breaking news, court documents allege Jeffrey Epstein recorded sex tapes of Prince Andrew, Bill Clinton, and Sir Richard Branson. Well, the first name that was mentioned was Donald Trump. And you yeah. just said, I figure it's tough having a dad that doesn't remember you exist. I figure Tom Jr. forgetting to include his dad uh, as a best buddy of Jeffrey Epstein is uh, out of spite. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I, I, I know. You know what? Three years ago, that thing would have gone viral, but now it's like twelve people, and then a lot of guys like Jeff nine seven four zero flag. So, <laughs> but that's okay. That's all right. I'm entertaining. I, I'm, I, I like to entertain in micro clusters. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just you know we talked about there was a, there, well first of all there's a Lauren Bobert story. Every day, yeah. I'm still trying to get over that. And the United States congressman got caught giving a handy J in a, a you know an all ages production of Beetlejuice. But I, right? I, I mean, I feel like these would be all your writer storylines that were rejected, right? You're like the people would be like, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I know that 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 alone. It's like oh, Jesus Christ. It's like comedy's dead. It's like <laughs> you can say comedy's dead. You know, Tom Lair. Uh, who know, I, I doubt many people will know, but Tom Lair was a, a literally quit when Kissinger got the uh, got the uh, Nobel Prize because he went irony is dead, and I'm like, you know yeah. what? I think we're here too. <laughs> yeah, I think we've made it. <laughs> yeah, no, I was just saying it, it, it is like I, just a, I was saying yesterday, it's like a reality show that just never ends, and it gets more ridiculous. But and you cannot believe we're here that we might there is a possibility of electing a 91 count felony <laughs> rapist yeah. uh, insurrectionist traitor back to the white house it's okay well yeah um, no i know i know it's the tough part for me is a i truly think you know it was absolutely insurrection it was a riot he caused it absolutely the constitution covers covers that guy right but i also wonder if we're just riling his base by doing yeah. something that may or may not have an effect by 2024 get him in jail then let's have the conversation yeah but yeah, yeah. I, 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 but I, 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 but I, but I, I, I get you know Steve I get like ugh, about caving, caving into bullies like we gotta let the lunatics run the asylum or they'll get mad you know like I we just, did that in 2016 and it sucks <laughs> yeah we did, we have empirical proof that it's bad yeah. I mean, Lauren Bo speaking of Lauren Boebert, so she went on Steve Bannon's podcast, who also is not in jail for some reason, uh, to give her explanation for abandoning her district to move from Colorado 3 to Colorado 4. She specifically blamed the amount of money Hollywood raised to fund her mm -hmm. opponent and singled out Barbara Streisand and Ryan Reynolds as the main sure. culprits. Yeah. And it would not yeah. be the, ha the handy J in the, <laughs> you know. No. 
<laughs> and specifically is Barbara Streisand's fault. Mm-hmm. And and didn't by the way, didn't she only donate like fifteen hundred bucks? Yeah. Like, yeah. isn't that the kind of money that Barbara Streisand would drop and go, ah, my back hurts. <laughs> and then just Why walk away from it. <laughs> Why even pick that up? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I, it, it's just an ongoing clown show right between her and Marjorie Taylor Greene. I just, it's, it, I, I know we make this joke too much in comedy. It literally is the bar scene in Star Wars. <laughs> it's just, <Yeah. laughs> it's weirder and uglier every yeah, Every just season. not yeah. as diverse. I feel like I feel like because we love Steve Marmel best, we have to play a uh, trumper for him. Okay, take a listen. Yeah. No gun-free zones. Okay, so m- more guns. Yep. Can't fight fire with water. You gotta fight fire with fire. You can't fight fire with water. Yeah. Depends on what's in the fire. They specifically do fight fire with water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I was thinking magnets. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, we've been saying, I, I just, you know, you're a very well known writer. I mean, I, this just would not be plausible, even for a reality show. <laughs> You know, and it's not know. surprising there's idiots like that because this guy said we should nuke hurricanes. He said you should shove a UV light up your ass, drink bleach. I mean, I, yeah. I, on and on, right? He thinks the F-15s are literally invisible. Like, it's just, I mean, yeah. it's something beyond idiocracy. Yeah, it's like, yeah, they're like Linda Carter's jet. Exactly. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> you know, it's just, you just, uh, you don't see anything except like a pilot's butt flying super fast that's how that's how war works <laughs> I, I just yeah it's it look you know what i'm done trying to tell people what to do you know unless they're like beating their kid in an airport or whatever then i'll then i'll film it um Mm-mm, there it is my first drink of the day zbiotics pre-alcohol probiotic Many of you know my, my story. I stopped drinking wine for three years during COVID, during the lockdown as part of a health reset. Now I drink wine in moderation, but this is an amazing new product. I've always believed in probiotics and Z-Biotics. Check this out. You drink just one of these. It's the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. I am using this and I feel great in the morning. I don't have to worry if I have an extra glass of wine. I still feel great in the morning. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. I've always had acid reflux problems. It is this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. All I know is it works. It is Zbiotics pre-alcohol probiotic. Go to zbiotics.com/slash political voices or scan the QR code on the screen right now.